Hello Aquarius, my name is Natalie and I'd like to welcome you to my YouTube channel, Bay of Fundy Fortunes. Um, I'm a empath, a very strong one and deep one, and also an intuitive card reader. And I am here to do a general reading for Aquarius for the month of June 2016. So without further ado, let's get the show on the road. The first card that I drew for you today was the Four of Pentacles. The Four of Pentacles is all about security, okay? So that's not too bad. Uh, security, finance, work, relationships. Right now, Spirit says all these things at this moment and into the month of June are quite stable for you, okay? <clears throat> You're able to provide and care for others. You've reached a point where you can sit back, relax, and enjoy the strong foundation that you've acquired, that you've built and worked so hard for. Don't resist positive change because you work so hard for everything. Um, positive change can kind of flow right into you. Don't rene don't rebuke it. Don't push it away. Let it be part of the bigger picture. Okay, that's what the guides are saying. Be part of the bigger picture. Take all the good, all the positive that comes your way, and enjoy that. It just adds more to it. Makes it richer more fuller, more deeper, deeper meaning. It brings more reality to what you have accomplished. Okay, so the advice of this card is to enjoy this period of change, this period of calm, and this period of order. Stay open to new possibilities. Keep looking for new ways to expand your empire, let's call it, okay? So um, now the keywords for this card is stability, finances, property, protection, balance, order, and foundation. Foundation seems to be the keyword here for you, Aquarius, for the month of June. These are all good, wonderful things. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, the advice of the card was to enjoy the period of change, of calm, of order, to stay open to new possibilities. So. When you're building a foundation, when you're when you're making change, the change is coming to you, always leave yourself open that no matter how good something seems or something is, and it seems very real and concrete to you, there's always room for improvement with everything in life. Even when you say this is perfect just the way it is, guess what? Someone's going to come along, something will come along and make it even more perfect than it already is. And that just means that it's growing. It's growing in a good way. It's a wonderful thing. Leave yourself open to change. Leave yourself open to all positive karma um, that wants to come into you, into your life, into your psyche, into your being, into your now, into your reality. Because as long as you leave yourself open, what you think is top of the line, what you think is the best of everything, is going to get better if you leave yourself open. So you have to, you have to kind of lay back. Don't put any walls up. Don't lay an expectation of better. Just leave yourself go. Leave the vibrations open. Leave the doors and windows in your life open for any goodness that's trying to get in. Sometimes things don't knock, okay, um, in here or in here. Sometimes it's a subtle thing that kind of floats in and you go, well, when did this happen? When did this happen? When did this take place? Wow, look at this. I had no idea that these wonderful things could come out of something I thought was a done deal. I thought I worked really hard for this and I thought it was done. I thought we were finished. I thought this was the end of. There's never any end of to anything. Not really. Not when it comes to work and projects, creations, things that you you put your blood, sweat and tears into. Um, when, you, when you put your blood, sweat and tears into Whatever it is, your job, your home, your family, your relationships, your life, your friends, your your money, your projects, your your solid foundations. Um, there's always a um, um, ripple effect. There's a ripple effect. You're going to experience that ripple effect through the month of June in all good ways. Anything anything negative that comes to you, you're going to handle it. You're going to brush it off, and you're going to only the good only the good is going to come in. So that's your very first card. Your very first card, that is the Four of Pentacles. Your second card that came up, Aquarius, Queen of Wands. She represents passion, passion. I'm all about passion. I'm all about 
bringing everything we have out of what we've got. I'm all about getting excited. I'm all about deepness. And the guides say, you need to be this way. You need to allow some passion in your life. When you feel strongly, as we were talking about with the Four of Pentacles, about building a foundation and working very hard for these things, what happens is what's driving you is the passion and the want to. The want to is there. Because the want to is there and the desires are there to create these things, that's passion. When you go to bed at night and you're dreaming about the day that just went by, and when you're you're dreaming of the day to come, it's passion that drives these dreams. It's passion that drives the ideas. It's passion that, that's inside of you and you've already made a commitment within yourself that you're going to build this wonderful foundation beneath you for for every for everyone around you in your family and in your personal life and your friends. Everyone is going to feel, here we go, the key word for you for the month of June is the ripple effect, okay? There's going to be an ongoing ripple. This wave that just keeps on coming and coming and coming. It's like when I stand on my beach and the tide's coming in and it's coming in with attitude because it does at times. I always take a few steps back away from the water. I don't test those waters because we call what we call the three Z's. You get one big wave, kaboom, and then another one, kaboom, and then a third one comes in, kaboom. And we watch in awe because it comes in threes. Threes, everything's gonna come in threes for you for the month of June, Aquarius. It's going to be just wonderful. Now, this card of passion, the queen. She is the queen, the queen of wands. And she's magnificent and she's wonderful. She is passionate. She is talkative. She is dynamic. And she leads by example. She asks for others and the guides will ask for others such as you Aquarius to fulfill your potential because you have potential. And the queen is here and has turned up to give you that little nudge that you need to fulfill everything that you're all about. To don't stop, keep going. It's like with a cup, when the cup gets full, okay? So um, everything that you do, make sure it comes from the heart. The Queen of Wands, she speaks from the heart. Everything about her is genuine and heart-filled. Communications are vital for the month of June as well. Um, she finds those that are closed off for their, from their emotions. It's frustrating. Um, she's trying to lead you, to nudge you. And if you're closed off and you really don't want things coming in, they're not going to. If you shut those doors and windows and you latch them tight, you're hurting yourself. This is also the you card. This is you. Male or female, doesn't matter. You. Okay? This is all about you. The month of June. All right? You are the page of wands or the queen of wands. Sorry. And you're going to be dealing with passion whether you're used to that or not it's going to keep rising to the surface and you're going to be saying what is this where is this coming from you'll be almost rejuvenated because of this passion that she brings to you she's trying to very gently lead you in the right direction okay she's trying to tell you to honor your talents don't downplay anything nothing at all honor them Hold them up there. Hold them out front and center. That's what she's telling you to do. That's why this card turned up. Obviously, there's a little bit of shadiness around your talents. Um, maybe you need more self-belief. Maybe people in your life are admiring you and you're going, oh, shucks. I'm not that great. Yeah, you are. You really are. And what you're doing for the month of June is over the top. Uh, people can recognize and see all that potential and all that wonderful stuff, you need to stop and see what everybody else is trying to take, try to take an objective point of view. Try to stand outside yourself and look back at what it is you're working on. It could be anything from just family structure to jobs to anything at all. I don't care if you're building a fence in your backyard or you're digging a, a little you know, koi pond in the backyard, if you're painting your car, painting your house, um, if you're painting a picture, maybe you're very artistic. When people go and they look and they go, oh my, 
Oh, wow. Well, look at their faces. Look into their eyes. Stand back quietly and watch and see what they see. If you're feeling confused, wait till everybody disperses. Wait till later on when you're alone with whatever it is. It could be something as simple as discipline. The guides say it could be something as disciplining the troublesome child. You're going to start to see results of all the work. And that, that's extreme because that takes, that takes so much out of a person to try to help with a child, okay? And you're starting to see that maybe this child had trouble getting along with others. Maybe the child is super shy. Um, you're going to see them come out of their shell. You're going to see them getting along better with everybody else. And people are going to look at you and go, what did you do? How did you do this? Take pride in that because it was you that did it, okay? And everybody knows that. So don't hold back in that department. Honor your talents. The advice of this card is to follow your intuition to make the best decisions in relationships, work, and projects. Follow your intuition. Your intuition is your gut, okay? That feeling that you get, the feeling that you get when, when you say, you know what, everything may look this way, but it feels this way inside. It's different inside. Always, 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 I can't say this enough. I say it a lot because I live my life by it. You can live your life by the seat of your pants, but it's your gut that's in the driver's seat, okay? It's your gut that will never steer you wrong. When something, nothing makes sense, that's when you really want to listen to it. When nothing makes sense and your gut is saying, you need to do this, you need to take this action, you need to look at something a little different because your gut is telling you. It may not make any sense to you at the time, okay? If you're the logical type, and you can be, if you're really, really logical, um, don't don't be blinded by your logic. Don't, don't do that. Please don't do that. This is vital. You need to let your gut steer you and it's nudging you and giving you little pushes this way. Maybe off this way. No, maybe turn it. Listen to your gut, okay? Logic has its place in the world. Logic has its place in human nature. It's, it's like some people look at physics and it's black and white. This is physics, this is black and white. But you know what? Life is full of surprises. In a manner of speaking, life is full of surprises. And no matter how much you think things should go a certain way or be a certain way, that's just when life will come in and go, Oh, no, it don't. Nuh-uh. Not happening. Guess what? I'm throwing something else into that stew pot that you didn't even see coming. Pay attention to that, all right? And it all comes back to the inner you, to your intuition, okay? So the key words for the card are leadership, creativity, again, intuition, strength, relationships, integrity. Don't lose your integrity along the way. Always, always, your gut in your intuition and integrity. Gut, intuition, integrity. Integrity caps it off. Integrity will crown any situation, okay? It's like handling that child, and some of you will for the month of June, Aquarius. It's, it's going to be child-based for some of you, not all of you. This is a general reading. Um, for the rest of you, it's going to be work-related. It's going to be home-based and home-related. It's going to be your relationships, Keep your integrity. If you keep your integrity in check and you keep that first and foremost, all right, you can lay down at night, put your head on the pillow, and then silently smile to yourself and say, no matter what happened today, no matter what I did today, I did it with integrity. That's such an important thing. It can disturb our sleep and our dreams. It can, if, if you're not using it, it can destroy our well-being and our sense, our peace of mind for, you know, it's real hard having peace of mind in today's world. But you, if you keep, you know, with integrity, <clears throat> excuse me, if you follow that, that you've done everything right to the best of your knowledge. And you can't, you can't chase that off to one side. It just can't be done. All right. That's important. You've got feeling and your integrity. Hold on to that. Remember that. Don't forget about that. Don't forget about your integrity. It crowns everything. All right? Okay. The next card that I drew for you, Aquarius, is the Ten of Wands. Ten of Wands. It's 
all about responsibility. There we go. Responsibility, that fits back in with integrity, okay? All our responsibilities should be handled with integrity. It's the number one thing. This card represents maybe an overload. Maybe you're feeling burdened and overloaded, all right? Sometimes we think that we took on a little bit more than maybe we should have, all right? And sometimes integrity will come into play there too. And you say, I can't do all this. You need to start trimming some stuff off, trim off the fat a little bit. Doesn't mean you dispose of the situation, all right? That child that you thought maybe, you know, um, you conquered the problem, whatever that problem was with the child, maybe is showing signs of other problems coming forward. Just take a deep breath. Don't feel overloaded. You can't give up. Don't ever, ever give up, especially when it comes to um, somebody in need, human human beings, and children. You, you just don't walk away. They're, they're people too. Human nature. There's <laughs> Just when you fix one thing, something else, it's almost comical. Something else, something else could come to the forefront. You know what that means with people and as well with children? It just means they're healthy and they're growing. There's always going to be, there's going to be, there's always going to be issues with children. Um, Spirit says, quit, quit, keep, keep swinging the hammer. That's what the guides are saying. Tell Aquarius to keep swinging the hammer. Keep your head tucked down and hammer away. Don't give up. Don't give up because there's something that you're involved with for the month of June, Aquarius, that you cannot give up on. Remember integrity. It's such a strong thing. Don't give up. All right. Um, you started this for a reason. You got involved with this for a reason. You created this for a reason, whatever this is, because this is a general reading. It's for everybody. So there's a lot of, um, there's a lot that comes into play here for a lot of you. And integrity is the big thing. <clears throat> you never walk away. Don't throw the hammer down. Kick the toolbox to the side in a metaphoric way of speaking. When I say that, I mean the tools that you've been using to, to, to work with this problem, whatever this is, all right? Um, you need to see the card is showing there may be some confusion, exhaustion, your priorities, you have to reshuffle them. There's pressure, there's blocks, okay? These are challenges. These are the things that will make that situation so much richer in the end. Challenges are a wonderful thing. I know I get challenged every day. I know the frustrations that you just want to walk away. I tried doing a video for the monthlies for another sign about an hour and a half ago outside. It's a beautiful day here in James Harbor. I live in a very rustic, raw, natural, beautiful place um, that's not changed in about 300 years since the first settlers arrived. I'm not getting off topic. I'm just saying that I love to share the beauty of where I live so much that I feel my heart swell. And today was one of those days, the tide was up and in, we have the highest tides in the world here. And it was calm and the water was so blue and the sky, <clears throat> not a cloud, it reflected into the water. And there was a little tiny bit of a break as the tide was sliding in, breaking on shore. So it left this white lacy trim along the beach and the birds were singing. And I thought, oh, I've got to do a video outside. Let's take everything out. Well, it takes me about a half an hour to 45 minutes to just get set up to do one reading. Seriously. I moved everything outside. I got myself all ready. Laptop set up. Camera ready to go. And normally it's so quiet here. Aquarius, where I live. You can hear your own heart beating. Your ears ring. It's so quiet and peaceful. But what do you think happened? I'm getting back to the matter at hand here. I got out there, neighborhood dog barking up the road. Okay. Traffic. Big, huge, loud trucks rumbling by, one after the other, one after the other. And I thought, what is going on? Because my main road is on the other side of my house. 
And that's where all the traffic, it's not a highway. It used to be many years, it's not anymore. It's just a secondary road. And normally there's no traffic here till later in the afternoon. It's crack of dawn when people are leaving or coming back and forth to work. Uh, weekends get a little crazy because it's beautiful through here. It's a main, it's a main scenic group for a lot of people. So I got out there and I thought, well, I'll just wait a few minutes. So then I started to record. And then I had one of my cats come across the yard and he was howling. A loud meows. And what did he do? <clears throat> he parked himself literally under my chair and howled and howled. And then the neighbor on the other side of the trees came up with their buggy and was vroom, vroom, vroom. And I thought, I'm ready to just blow a gasket here. I'm trying to portray a nice, calm, serene atmosphere and share this. There was no way it was going to happen. I had to pack everything up and come back inside. So I know what frustrations are all about, even the little things every day. This is the way it is. We have to make adjustments. We have to change things. Okay, the advice of this card, you need to set boundaries. You need to set boundaries. That's with anything you do in life. There needs to be some mental and emotional and logical. This is when logic comes in, boundaries. This is something you're going to find yourself. This card says working a little hard for through the month of June. All right? Boundaries. Lines that you don't cross and neither does anybody else. Don't allow it. All right? You know what's best for you. You know what's best for this, 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 this challenge that you have. All right? You need to know where the boundaries are so you set them and you make it very clear to those that matter that nobody can cross that. They just can't. Not at this time. You need to reduce your stress so as everything is how you look at things. It's your attitude. And you may need to say no to certain people. That's a given. It's just a given. That's where the frustrations and the challenges come in. Um, when you say no, you don't need to go off the deep end with it. You'd be very clear and very concise with your communication. I said no. I'm sorry, but I said no, and this is why I said no. If I have to spell it out for you, I will, but I don't want to have this conversation again. Maybe down the road I'll say yes, but not right now. I don't need the distractions. This is something you've worked hard for. All these things are going to come up for the month of June. You need to be stoic, you need to stand your ground. This is important. Whatever these things are, this is important. All right, so what I'm gonna do is a quick little numerology here. Okay, so we've got we've got the Ten of Wands and the, and the uh, Queen of Wands. They're both worth 10, so there's 20. And the Four of Pentacles, 10 plus four is 14, and one plus four is five. So the numerology number for you for the month of June is the number five. Now, five is the, the, the number of male sexuality and attracted to many things, but so, seldom held by any, leading to impulsiveness and impatience. Be mindful of that, okay? Fives love change and excitement, so they're ready to seize any opportunity, making them aggressive and bold. Don't become too bold. If this is you, five, all right? I'm a five. But this isn't my reading, this was yours. If this isn't you, this is somebody close to you that you're going to encounter through the month of June. These individuals hate to be tied down. <clears throat> the five senses and five elements characterize the individual. Touch, earth, water, taste, air, sound, fire, smell, light, and sight. Five represents the spirit exalted or the resurrected from the body. Five also represents man as a miniature image of his universe. And we can tend to do that, can't we, Aquarius? We tend to minimize our universe and it's just our little world. It's all about us. And the guides are saying, this is when in the now, this is what means in the now, when our little universe is here. Sometimes we need to get drawn into our own little universe. Sometimes we need to be in the now. Um, that doesn't mean you exclude all exterior things and, and the light that's going on around you. But sometimes you need to close in and zero in on just what's going on around you for you. Okay. When you stay in the now is when you become very powerful. When you bring things to you because you're aware 
super aware of the universe and everything that's going on around you. All right. And how this pertains to you. The character traits, just to throw this in there, of the five. <clears throat> Fives are resourceful and versatile, amusing and clever. They provide good company and are optimistic with good words. Expect a lively and inquiring conversation, along with an outdoor personality. That's me. <laughs> Travel make personality. Uh, fives make both money and friends easily. They live for sensation and excitement. These individuals love change, travel, adventure, and anything new. They hate being tied down and are thus impatient with conventions, laws, and rules. <coughs> Excuse me. Got a tickle. Ah, the negative tendencies of the five. As fives are attracted by tra practicality, everything that they, they are seen as um, sensationalist, opportunist. It can be irritable, erratic. It can be untidy. Guilty as charged. And lack punctuality. No, I'm usually punctual. Often described as a jack of all trades, sometimes. They can tackle any task, but may not be skilled in anything. Jack of all trades and a master of none is the same, though, and it's very literal. Fives tend to be sarcastic, boastful, rebellious. I'm sarcastic when I'm faced with stupid, and you may be faced with you may be faced with stupid, okay? Um I drip with sarcasm. If you watch my other videos, I tend to touch on, uh, I like to think I've got my finger on the pulse of human nature and I get very sarcastic at times because I have zero patience for stupid because some people refuse to open their minds up and learn something new. They close themselves down and you may have to deal with this. And this is where my sights start to drip with sarcasm. Um, it's just a second nature to me. Um, boastful, yes. Fives can be boastful. They can be a bit, they pat themselves in the back. Not too many things I do good in life, but if I do, I let everybody know it. I'm really good at that. I'm really good. I'm really good at reading cards. This is my niche in life. This is what I was meant to do. It may not mean anything to all of you that watch this, but it means a lot to me. And I'm very, very boastful. I usually bat 100% when I do private readings. And speaking of private readings, it's a good lead in. If you enjoyed this video, Aquarius, and you'd like a more one-on-one -on -one personalized reading just for you, I do provide that service. All the information you need to contact me is in the description box below. Or you can go to my website, there's a contact form, or you can ship me off an email. My website's www.bayafundyfortunes.blogspot.ca. Look below, it's all there. Um, <clears throat> if you like the video, please click like. Okay, it only brings good current back to you to put out a compliment of sorts, we'll say. If you want to share it, you're free to share it. If you'd like to subscribe, subscriptions are all free. All they are there for is to automatically notify you through your email whenever I post another video. And when I do, you'll get an email notification. Okay? So, I hope you like your reading. I hope you enjoyed this reading. I hope you come back for more. That's what I'm here for. And I truly enjoy doing your reading. Um, I felt it touched on an awful lot of um, inner things, in, things inside that you have to deal with for the month of June. It's not a bad month at all. You're going to see results. The guides are saying you're going to see because you're going to be stoic. You're going to, to be zeroed in and concentrating on several things in your life for the month of June that are taking front and center and priority. And you're going to give to them 100%. All right. And you're going to see some really, really good results. So, without further ado, I'm going to say goodbye for now. I do hope that you'll come back. I hope you enjoyed this. And I hope to see you again really, really soon. And please, the month of June is very rich for you, full of results. Take advantage of that. Dive right in with both feet. And we'll see you soon. Goodbye, Aquarius.